So let's talk Unity installation. So Unity is going to be the component of the whole course building process that you're going to use the most. We're going to get a little bit ahead of ourselves. The main Unity section of this course is going to be a little bit later, but we need to install Unity to do a few things as far as our terrains and our spline building go. So let's do the Unity installation. This video is probably going to be posted later on. You might see it again, but once you install Unity, you're good to go. So Unity components. Um, as far as the Unity software goes, I think there's a, a way to explain the three components, and, and this will help you understand how this install works. There's Unity Hub, there's Unity Editor, and then there's the Unity Projects, okay? Um, Unity Hub is, is, like the, is a piece of software that allows you to launch the editor, which you're going to use to make your course, and then that editor uh, loads your project. Um, so when you build your, build your course, it will be a project. The nice thing about Unity Hub is it, it, it organizes all these for you. So you can actually have multiple versions of Unity Editor installed. Now we need to use a very specific version, uh, Unity 2018.2.8F1. But you can have multiple versions of Unity installed, and you might want to do that later on. I'm not going to talk about why in here, um, but you might want to do that. So I would suggest you don't need Unity Hub. You can run Unity Editor by itself, but I would suggest use the Hub and use it to, to manage your editor and your projects. All right, so let's show what this installation is going to look like. You're just going to go to uh, Unity. Um, if you do a Google search for download Unity, um, here's the URL if you need it. However, um, you're going to come here and you're going to download Unity Hub. And I already did that, ended up in my downloads. So let me just open this up and start to run it here. And it went to my other window. Um, so you're just going to agree to our terms of service. Um, I'm going to pick a different install location. Um, actually, let me think what computer I'm on here. Uh, no, I'm going to keep it on the C drive. I thought this was my computer with a D drive. It is not. So I'm going to keep it on the, uh, the default. You can install this anywhere you want. It's not going to cause any problems for you. And you're going to do to install. I'm just going to pause this so you guys don't have to sit through it. Once you install Unity Hub, you can see I'm on version 3.1.2, but you can run any version you want. Do not install this version of Unity. It's not, um, it's not going to work for you. All right, so just skip that installation. You're gonna see in here, we have like a, a, a nice default clean version of Unity. And we're gonna go up here to install editor. And there are the official releases here. Again, we can't use any of these. Um, there's some alpha releases here. We can't use these. We want to go into the archives, and we're going to go into the download archive, and it's going to open up this page for us. In this page, this is all the previous versions of Unity. We're going to go to 2018, and then we have to scroll down to 2018.2.8 right here, this specific version. Now, we're downloading Unity 2.8 f1 this is it it just doesn't put it the uh, the f1 so if you want to install it standalone and not use hub you would download this installer we're going to do unity hub open our unity hub and now unity editor is going to give us the opportunity to download and install it and you can just click the defaults here you're going to use the visual editor or the visual studio i'm going to hit continue um just note that it is, um, it's a pretty big piece of software. It's 3.72 gig, right? Um, so I'm gonna hit continue. Uh, I'm gonna agree to those terms of service. And at that point, uh, I should be able to close this and you're gonna see some progress here. This is gonna take a little bit, especially if you have a slow internet connection. So I am going to pause. I just wanted to one pause here for a second. You might get a couple pop-ups about allowing Unity to make changes to your computer. Make sure you say yes. And then also don't panic when you get this Visual Studio installer popped up and, and running. Um, you know, just let that go as well. 
So when the installation is complete, you should be able to, under your installs tab here, you should see the 2018.2.8F1 release. So at this point, we've got Unity installed, um, but we have no projects. So you'll see if you go back to the projects tab, there are no projects. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to download the latest base project and launch it in Unity.